the black sheep of the royal family tomorrow morning. TV5 Eyewitness News with Dave Patterson, Ted Henry, and the Eyewitness News team is brought to you by the Illuminating Company and Ohio Edison. Good evening, this is the news, except I don't suppose it is really news to any of us that the cost of everything we use and need is rising so fast that we can't keep up. The inflation rate in April was nine-tenths of a percent. Now, you spread that out all year, and you're talking about a 10% jump in the cost of living. Food, the fastest rising segment of the cost of living index, with our old economy standby hamburger, the fastest rising food item. One of the reasons why demand continues to grow for ground beef is that it fits today's lifestyles. It has the versatility and the, uh, everything that homemakers are looking for and quick and easy to prepare. So we eat smaller hamburgers and we hope for better days. You know, it may be a, a hopeless hope. Here in Cleveland, it was a triumphant Dennis Kucinich who revealed to reporters today that the courts have told the Cleveland City Council that it cannot meet an emergency session to set the date for an election to recall did uh, Mayor Kucinich. The Court of Appeals will hear the facts of the controversy over the recall on Friday morning, and then they will decide whether to allow the recall movement to go on forward. And now here's uh, Bill Sullivan, who is one of the leaders of the recall movement. Bill, what if the appeals court should rule against you and says that your petitions don't meet the standards of the law? Well, David, we would uh, probably go back to Merce Cotner and ask her to recount under whatever uh, regularities the uh, judge would rule. So uh, we're optimistic right now. We're checking the petitions uh, every day here at the, of the first batch and of the second batch. And we um, might have enough uh, if it goes for the uh, those who have voted. So, so by saying that, I get the impression you think there is some possibility that might happen. Well, we're, uh, we never know what's going to happen. Uh, we're optimistic that, optimistic that the courts will rule our way, but uh, there's always contingency plans made. When do you think there might be an election? It could happen as a, uh, early as the end of July. Fine. We'll be watching on Friday then to see what the Court of Appeals does say about the city charter and how it relates to the signatures and what they say about uh, putting the election on the ballot. Okay. Thank you for being with us. Okay, dear. Yep. Dave, America Sinich's right-hand man, Bob Weissman, conveyed some rather bad news to reporters today. He said the Computer Science Corporation is suing the city of Cleveland to save its lucrative contract, a contract which is in jeopardy now since the Kucinich administration wanted city council to fire the firm, charging that the company was costing the city $50,000 a month too much. The people representing the computer firm apparently feel they're the victims of a bad rap. There are a lot of tired, frustrated, and outraged people in Ohio tonight, tired of standing in those long, long lines waiting for license plate stickers on this, the last day to buy 77 tags. At the License Bureau Center downtown, many people were very upset when the doors were closed around 4.30, and those still outside were shut out. I've been since 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock this morning. Well, what happened? Uh, how come you didn't get in? Uh, they just shut it down about a quarter to quarter to five. They said that uh, only the numbers from 30, uh, 30 numbers, 70 to 100 would get in. And after that, the numbers from 100 to 175 would have to come back tomorrow morning, be first in line. That's what they said. So you guys have no opportunity to get your tags today? I think we had opportunity. I think that uh, some people from the back came around and forced their way in. Police were called to break up the angry crowd and man the doors. Our reporter, by the way, and his cameraman were not allowed inside to find out why the bureau was closed today. The last graduation for one Cleveland school. And a look back to compare this year's graduates with those from 10 years ago. These stories and next as Eyewitness News continues.